Hi, in this video I'll be showing you why a plus b multiplied by a minus b equals a squared minus b squared. Okay, now let's imagine that we have a length a. So I'm going to call this length a. Now let's imagine we have a length b. So I'm going to call this length b. Now since this is length A and this is length B, what would the length A minus B look like? Well let's see. So I'm going to subtract the length B from the length A. If I were to do this, then I'd have a length A minus B that looks like this. So, we're going to call this length a minus b. Now that we've got this information, let's create a rectangle. The horizontal length of this rectangle will be a plus b. Now the vertical length of this rectangle will be just A. But A will be made up of B and A minus B. Now that we've got the horizontal length of this rectangle and the vertical length of this rectangle, let's finish drawing it. Now let's name the individual areas contained within this rectangle. This area here is A, B. This area here is B squared. This area here is A multiplied by A minus B. And this area over here is B multiplied by A minus B. Now using this rectangle we are going to discover what a plus b multiplied by a minus b is. If we look at this rectangle carefully, we can see that a plus b multiplied by a minus b equals a multiplied by a minus b plus b multiplied by a minus b. So the question now is, what is a multiplied by a minus b? And what is b multiplied by a minus b? Well, if we look at the rectangle closely, we'll see that a multiplied by a minus b equals a squared minus ab because you can see that this big square over here is a squared and if we minus a b we're left with a multiplied by a minus b therefore a multiplied by a minus b is a squared minus a b now let's find out what b multiplied by a minus b is and let's put this value in brackets if we look at the rectangle AB and minus B squared from it, we're left with B multiplied by A minus B. Therefore, B multiplied by A minus B is AB minus B squared. So once again, look at the rectangle AB 
and then subtract b squared from it. If you do that, you're going to be left with b multiplied by a minus b. Okay, now that we've got this value, all we have to do is simplify it. So we get a squared minus ab plus ab minus b squared. And if we simplify this further, we get a squared minus b squared. So we've proven what a plus b multiplied by a minus b is using this rectangle over here. We can now see that the secret to multiplication lies in this method right over here. You may not have been taught this at school. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you use similar methods to discover the secrets of multiplication for yourself. Thanks for watching.